Developing news now in a house fire in Revere, Massachusetts. We first told you about it as it was breaking overnight and some tragic news tonight. Fire officials say one person they were looking for has been found dead. And according to reports, the victim is a relative of the city's deputy fire chief. Eyewitness News anchor Shannon Hegge joins us now live in our studio with the developing details. Mike, according to the Associated Press, Revere Deputy Fire Chief Chris Bright says his uncle, Dennis Toomey, who was in his 80s, died in the fire. Firefighters were called to the scene just before 6 this morning. You can see the flames pouring out of the two-story home on Reservoir Avenue. The rising smoke could be seen from miles away around sunrise. Two elderly men, three other adults, and a child made it out alive. But tonight we've learned the victim and another elderly man are the uncles of Revere's Deputy Fire Chief. He says he ran in and crawled through the smoke to rescue one uncle and later found out his other uncle had died. I dragged my uncle out of his bedroom in the basement. He was sleeping in the basement and um, took him out. Firefighters say the fire was a struggle as soon as they got on scene. Several fire hydrants were either blocked, buried in snow, or frozen. They also faced sub zero wind chills. We had a great deal of problems with uh, water supply. We had frozen hydrants, we had a vehicle parked on a hydrant, we had a buried hydrant. So it, uh, it, it was some delay that the fire got a good, good start on us. At one point the roof collapsed and the fire chief says two firefighters were hurt after falling on the ice, but they are expected to be okay. Revere's mayor also canceled classes at a nearby school because of the fire. No word tonight on how it started. I'm Shannon Heggie, Eyewitness News.